this chapter algebraic expression okay so in algebra if i want to represent any equation then i have to create an algebraic expression with the help of alphabets and in the constant <coughs> as we know that alphabets also known as variable
This is an expression. How many terms are there? Three. One, two, three. This counting, this number of terms only depend on the this plus sign and minus. How many terms are added or subtracted from this part in this particular algebraic expression? You will see from this sign. Okay. In this, we have only three terms. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. It does not depend on the number of variables x, y, and z. We have three variables. We have three variables here. So it does not depend on the number of variables. It actually depends on the plus and minus. Okay. Hope you can uh, hope. You are getting my point. Now we will see in expression C power and x four power and x four. So what is the power and what is the exponent? Example five x square y cube. Okay, five x square y cube. As we have already discussed that if there is no sign between a variable and literal term, variable, variable and constant term, then there must be a multiplier. So we can write this five x square y cube is five multiplied with x square multiplied with y cube. Okay. Now after that, we can expand this x square and y cube also. See, five multiplied with x, x, x two times y because of it has power. It has power two. And after that, y cube three times. Y into y into y. Okay. So five times x three times y. If we summarize this, we will get. X square y cube. Okay, so these are the powers. Okay, these are the power two and three are the power. And what is the this whole expression? We can take it separately. X cube y uh, x square y cube. This is known as exponent form. Exponent form. Okay. Here, yeah. this one is known as exponent form. X square y. Whenever any number or any alphabet can be represented in this form, you can say that this is an exponent. Okay. And these are the power two and three. Okay. Now move further in this one. We have discussed. Algebraic expression. Now we will see what are the types of algebraic expression. We will see five types of algebraic expression. First one is known as monomials. Second one is Binomials. Third one is trinomial, and after that, after that, quadrinomial. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Monomials. Now, this is totally depend on the number of variables. This is totally depend on the number of variables. If there is, there is one number of variable, then that is one. If there is two number of variable, then that is binomial. Three, the three variables, binomial. Four variables, polynomial means more than C. Monomial. What is the example of monomial? That is 2x or minus 5 on x7, x is 5. These both are example of monomial. Okay. Now, the second one is binomial. That is 3a minus 4b. 3a minus 4b. We have two variables. And two terms also. One and two. One and two. We have two terms as well as two variables. Here is we have one term and one variable as well. So this one is known as monomial. This one is known as binomial. Now the third one. Third one is x plus 2y plus 3z. x plus 2y plus 3z. We have three variables. One. 2 and 3, x, y and z and 3 terms also, 1, 2, 3, ok, now quad, in case of quad, we will see x plus y minus z plus a, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 variable, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 terms also, so this, this one is known as quadrilateral and after that polynomial more than more than minus 3x square plus a see what is the difference between all these and this one see in uh, in polynomial each term each term may be or may not contains uh, number of value more number of value see x and y x and y is the variable and this this both these two will come in one term and rest of the uh, rest of the other contains only one variable in each term okay so this one is the example of polynomial we will understand this in uh, very clearly in questions so let's see on the basis of this monomial binomial binomial body and body we will see like and unlike as we have already discussed or we have some idea that what are the like and unlike terms as we have discussed that uh, this particular uh, question in fra uh, fractions we know what are the like fraction we know what are the unlike so see what are the like terms and unlike terms See, we have 5xy, 6yz, 7zx, 8xy, 9yz and 15zx. These are some terms which are given here. Now we have to find out the like terms. Like terms. Like terms. So, what are the like terms? Like terms in algebraic expression. In algebraic expression, like terms are those terms which have same literal, same literal values, same literal number. Means if xy is here, then we have to search for xy. We have to search for xy. xy or y. -X. They have the same name or same manner. See, 5xy and 8xy. This one is the line. 5xy and 8xy. After that, tell me, this one is 6yz. So, like term for 6yz, 9yz. So, this will become 6yz, 
y z see beta if you have visibility issue then listen very carefully whatever i am telling you okay whatever i am writing on the board in the same way i am speaking also i am telling you also so be very attentive while watching this video so 5xy 8xy 6yz and 9yz okay so 6yz like the 9yz 7 zx 15 Zx. These are the like term and unlike term. Five x y, six y z. See now unlike term. Those term which have different, different variable, different literal. Like five x y. Y x y and six y z. Now you are observing that y is here and y is also here. But we have to remember that the whole literal term, the whole literal term must be same. Whole literal term must be same. Otherwise, they are known as unlike term, not the like term. Okay. Now eight x y and you can say nine y z. So these are the some unlike terms. Okay. Now we will see factors and coefficient. Maybe this video is very long, so let's see. Do not is. Skip it because of this is mass video. If you skip this video, then maybe you will skip the whole concept. So do not skip it. Okay. Now factors. See, factors means break into parts. So, if anyone asks you, or if you try to tell someone that what is the factor, so factor is break into parts, break into pieces. Yes, that is the very good word which is used here. Break into pieces. Tukro tukro me tukro. Okay. So let's see if we have. Five x square y, or q. So, what are the factors for this one? Five multiplied by x square multiplied by y. Okay. So, this one is the factor for this five x square by q. Now, can we break it in more pieces? Yes, we can. Five x into x, y into y. Y. Now, see five x x y y y. So these are the factors of five x square y cube. Now, can we break it into more pieces? No, we cannot break it into more pieces. So these are the factors of five x square y cube. Now we will see some more factors. Six x y nine x square y five z a nine a b c for the six two into three after that x into y these are the pieces. Of six x y, so these are the factors of six x y. Now the second one, nine x square y. Nine can be break into three into three x square break into x into x, and after that y. These are the factors of nine x square y. After that five z a five multiplied z multiplied 
9a. These are the five ZA. Now, now 9a is 32349 after that a. Okay, so these are the factors. These are the factors of all these. Okay. Now we will see the coefficient and after that we will see exercise. If you are getting any problem, then comment on the video. Okay. If you are getting any problem and do not get confused, if you have any kind of query, you can ask. Okay. So comment on video. Okay, now see. Coefficient. See what are the coefficient? Nine x square y. This is nine x square y. What is the factor for this? Three into three x into x into y. Okay, so what is the coefficient of if in this one we are taking this? What is the coefficient of nine? Our question is what is the coefficient of nine? If question is asking something, what is the coefficient of nine? Then we have to just circle this line and rest part is the coefficient. For the coefficient of 9, we just circle this, means we don't have to include this one. And after that, rest part is the coefficient. Rest part is the coefficient of 9, means x square y is the coefficient of 9. Okay? Clear? Okay, now if it is asking about what is the coefficient for x square, coefficient of x square, then you have to circle this and rest part is the 9y. 9y is the coefficient for x square. If it is asking about coefficient of y, so 9x square will be the coefficient of y. Now if it is asking for what is the coefficient of x only? x. As we see that in the factor of x square we have 2x. See? So if it is asking about x, only x, not the x square. Remember it, only x. So we can take the help of this factor. Circle this x. Rest part is the coefficient. 3, 3, 9. x, y. So 9xy is the coefficient for x. Only x. If uh, we have attempt all the possible questions from this one. Okay. Now, come on. Exercise. Page number 182. Exercise 9.3. Beta, this is the whole thing. If you get the theory, if you understand the theory, then you will uh, you don't have to face any kind of problem in the exercise and further exercise. Okay, so if if you have any problem, then let me. Okay.